Hello boys and girls, and welcome back to the next episode of Let's Play Europa Universalist Divine Wind, Death, and Taxes. The host Shiner are currently playing as Twer. Yes, yes, I've loaded Twer because I was really curious why they haven't formed Russia yet. I mean, you look at all this land they have, and it's like, wow, that's a lot of shit, you know, just form Russia already. Well, look at the requirements for Russia. A variable claim on Russia greater than 40. Well, so I went to the region map mode, and I counted up all the Russian lands that they have, and they have about 30. So they're missing about 10 right now, and they could either get them from us, which they're not going to do, or they could get them from the Golden Horde, which... Shit, man. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then these, <laughs> these also count as Russia, so... I could get some of these as well. Everything that's red is considered part of Russia, and everything that's brown is considered... Why is this not... There we go. Western Siberia. And come on. There you go. Russia. So even though it's got the weird lines in it, it's considered Russia. What does those lines mean anyway? Mongol Empire. Oh. No. That just means the Middle East and Central Asia. Okay, so these lines mean the Middle East and Central Asia. For whatever reason. There's no reason. But this is all considered part of Russia. All this red shit that we own is considered part of Russia. Well, we, I mean, as Romania. Anyway. The year is 1659. It's been, I think, six years since the... End of the last episode. And uh, I am coming back now. Let me go ahead and get back in as Romania instead of Twer. Now I'm coming, coming back at this point in time because our war exhaustion is getting low and I'm getting really impatient with Poland. They haven't, uh, they don't have an heir yet and their king hasn't died yet. So we still have this throne claim on them by Romania and Anhalt, and they're not, you know, oh man, my breathing is so bad right now, anyway, they don't look like they're going to be losing anything anytime soon, they're winning this war against Prussia, or with Prussia, Saxon, they can probably demand whatever they want in that war, they're the only ones in that war, by the way, it's just Poland, so... They should piece them out and probably take, like, five or six states off them. You know, why not? Go, Just go for it, man. But I'm getting really impatient, and I want to use a... Oh, yeah. That's something I want to bring up. This has to be a bug in, in Death and Taxes, because this, this doesn't seem right. Remember how I was thinking it was weird earlier? How we were getting the, um... Herp Dervsky. The cleansing of heresy caused this belly, even though we did not take... Oh, man. Unum Sanctum. Unum Sanctum is what gives you the cleansing of heresy causes belly. But we haven't taken that idea. We do not have Unum Sanctum. So why do we have, you know, cleansing of heresy right here? We shouldn't be able to get that causes belly. Well, now, now that we're past 1650, that unlocks imperialism. Well, look at this shit. Now we have imperialism causes belly. But to do imperialism, you have to be one of, like, three different government types, like Republican dictatorship, and we are not one of those three different government types, so it doesn't make any sense to me. It has to be a bug in Death and Taxes, and I'm still using Death and Taxes 4.9. I have not moved up to 5.0 or 5.6, wherever the fuck they're on right now, because uh, there's still a lot of things that I don't like about the 5.0 update, so I'm just going to stick with 4.9 for the rest of this series. One thing I do want to note is we are now a constitutional monarchy that changed in I don't know, 1656, 1657, just a couple years ago that we got the ability to switch over to a uh, constitutional monarchy. So our stability dropped, but it's not the end of the world. It's going to go back up next year. And uh, we did not get a slider change uh, per se, but we had an event that said Admiral's Concerned. So we either had lose stability. No, no. We either had gain one naval, which I took, because we're going to go towards... I made a decision now. We're going to go towards naval from now on. And the other option was, uh, 
like the admiral must be wrong and then that gives you like faster land tech training like five percent less time so it's not not really a big deal but we decided to use the free slider change to go towards naval uh, also we converted Fayum so we can release Egypt now whenever we want and I'm gonna wait for that until we finished uh, this war that I'm planning and since we're planning <coughs> Excuse me. Since we're planning war, I should note that our war exhaustion has not really gone down. It's a pain in the ass. And it's, it's not gone down because France and Barbaria kept uh, drawing us into other wars. Like, uh, Barbaria kept drawing us into war against, uh, uh, not the Aztecs. No, yeah, it was the Aztecs. Against the Aztecs. And then also against the guy who used to be up here. Uh, Tlaxcala. They, they're also in war against Tlaxcala. We're just joining these things, you know, for whatever reason. And then France declared war on Genoa. And I'm like, what the shit, France? So we joined that one because I thought maybe we could take this Genoese island over here. Ru Ruinion or whatever. Oh, Reunion, of course. Reunion. So I thought we could take that. And I didn't really want any of their other possessions, but I thought we could take that. So we fought Genoa a few times over here. We started conquering all their shit over here. I do like some of these names up here, by the way. Nuova Genova, San Luigi, uh, Suit. I think this is actually the, uh, what do you want to call it? The name that Savoy gave that state. Maybe it's not. Maybe that is the Genoese name for that state. But that used to be a Savoy colony, if you remember. Anyway, some of these names are really cool. San, San Antonio. Uh, this used to be a Genoese colony, but it looks like the uh, natives rose up and took it away. But yeah, it, it renames stuff for you, and I love that. I love that about this game. You can rename all that shit, and it does it automatically based on your... You know, like the fucking Norwegians have renamed some of the shit. Hansland. I mean, that's freaking awesome. It's Mexico, and they rename it Hansland. Anyway. Man, that was such a sidetrack there. Anyway, we fought with Genoa for a while, and we were not the leader in the war. So eventually, France just pieced him out and took Corsica, and that's it. And I'm like, God damn it, Genoa, because we were fighting Genoa down here. We took all this shit. We even took this. We got our, we got some of our navy undocked. We fought Genoese navy a few times. We were kicking their ass left, right, up and down. You know, it was just, it was ridiculously in our favor, and we were almost ready to piece him out. We were gonna take Reunion, and uh, we were gonna make him spit out. Who was it? Sicily or something? No, it was, it was somebody over here. It was probably up here. It was probably Parma or something. Oh, yeah. Parma used to have Lombardia. Well, Austria annexed them. And Austria is still at war with Genoa. But we were going to make them spit out Parma here, because Parma still has its core here. Anyway, Austria made them spit out Modena, which used to be someone's. I don't remember how to, I don't remember how it all went down. But I was upset with the result, because we weren't the war leader. And that's what happens when you join a war, and you don't become the war leader. Oh, okay, take a breath. Take a breath, Shen. Just relax, just relax. So I want to go to war with Poland, and I'm going to use the uh, claim on throne because I want uh, to form a personal union. And it's going to be like, you know, no infamy or anything. No, well... I guess we'll just do imperialism. It's, if you look at the uh, cost, it seems like the cost for imperialism would be... But I'm not sure. If we do the imperialism, can we still do the claim on throne? Because that's the only reason I want to go to war with them. I don't want to take any land. I just want to claim on We'll just do a claim claim on throne. And it says... Oh, oh I guess I should mention that. Since we lost our alliance with Broberius, because they... I, oh, it's because they kept declaring war on people. They declared war on Castile. Remember when, remember when Castile broke away? They declared war on Castile to retake this shit. And Castile actually defeated them, so Castile got bigger. But uh, Castile was allied with Twer, and I think they still are. Yeah, they're still allied with, with Twer. And Twer was kicking uh, Iberia's ass. Twer was kicking Iberia's ass up here, and up here in Iceland, and over here in their colonies, and down here. And they were sending their ships everywhere. And just, they're still down here. Look at this. They haven't even left yet. This Twer still has armies down here in Roberian lands. So we told them we weren't going to join that war. So we lost our alliance. And Britain said, you know what? We should be allies. And I'm like, fine. I've told Britain no so many times. We finally said yes. Wow, I can't believe we're already 10 minutes in this video. I'm sorry, guys. Let's get, let's get to some fucking content. So, big surprise. We're going to invade Poland. Everybody's done it at some point, right? We're not the first ones. Go ahead and get some generals. 
We don't have any generals. Um, don't I have any generals? God damn it, where's my fucking generals? That guy. Perfect. Hey, hey, look, you have a general. Who else is there? Italy. You don't need one in Italy. Hey, look, you have a general. You need one as well. Well, my tradition's really high. I'll just get another one. New general. Oh, yeah. In our capital, we built the Royal Palace, which gives yearly legitimacy plus one. And next door in Calarase, we built the Grain Depot, which makes uh, our force limits go higher and maintenance go down. So it's cheaper to have more units. So, fuck yeah. So our support limit went up from like 530 to 570. So that's pretty cool. We're way over on our ship force limit. So we're paying out the ass for that, but we're still making a lot of dollars. So I don't care. And we might as well have a backup army just in case all hell breaks loose. So let's get a general for him. Mexico. You definitely do not need a general over there, Mr. Mexico. Oh, that, on that note, we've been colonizing a little bit inland over here. As we discover lands, we're colonizing them in, in this way. And we've been colonizing down here, just slowly, based on what we can reach. And what we can reach changes based on where we have pirates. So, you know, we kill the pirates now and then, but for the most part, I don't care too much. I mean, we're colonizing enough. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, we finished Boina. So all of these have a really nice population now, which is very cool. But uh, slaves and grain are not my idea of good profits. Ivory, there's a good profit, but whatever. So, Mr. Leaderman, there you go. We have four armies over here, four leaders. Now let's see, who would actually join this if we do the claim on throne? Well, against us would be Lithuania and Brandenburg. Brandenburg would probably be the leader, and Brandenburg has some good allies. Are they at war with anyone? Yeah, they're at war with Britain already. Uh, they're allied with Lithuania, Mazovia, Poland, Bavaria. So Bavaria would probably come against us. No one else really matters, but Bavaria, Lithuania, I guess we could annex them or something. I mean, shit, they just, they're just sitting there. They're like, hey, we're Lithuania. I don't really want Lithuania as a vassal, but I guess it would complete our little, you know, vassal buffer zone. Just give Lithuania, like, I don't know, some of this shit. But I want Twer to form Russia. God damn it. Anyway. Let's get in position, then we'll declare war. Oh, yeah. Let's speed up. I hardly remember what was going on now. I mean, I can't believe we just spent 12 and a half minutes just bullshitting so far. We have another missionary, so let's go ahead and missionize. We've almost done doing all this down here. So when this war's over, I mean, it's going to be just really quickly, just release Egypt, give them all this shit, and then release... Uh, the Mamluks, and everyone will be happy. So we're just going to keep doing down here so we can f release Mutapa when we're ready. I wanted to release Swahili here in Sofala since they have a core, but apparently this Shona culture group is not able to form Swahili, which sucks. So whatever. Can't release Swahili. And Poland, they're going to be totally surprised when we declare war on them, because right now they're just happily kicking Prussia's ass. All right, we're pretty much on the border. I think we're ready to go, almost. You're there, you're there. Yeah, let's go, let's let's do this. So who's gonna join us? Probably not many. Uh, Britain says they're not gonna join us. France says they are. Well, we're gonna start the war without calling anyone. There we go, and then we're gonna call France right away because it says very likely, so we'll do that. And then we'll call all of our vassals. And just kind of hope that everything goes down smoothly. I mean, of course our vassals are going to join. But what I'm worried about is if... Uh, if... Uh, Brandenburg joins against us, like, right away, like, within the first day of the, the war, then France may suddenly change their mind. Like, oh, now we don't want to join. And it's like, well... Damn it. Then we lose our alliance with France, and... That's not cool. Man, calling all these vassals is a real pain in the ass. But I don't want to lose our alliance with Britain just after we got the damn thing. Oh, yes, yes. Is that everyone? No, we have... Oh, yeah. Over here, Nazca... Like, within, like, two years of releasing Nazca, they formed Inca. So, whatever. 
Inca, hello. You used to be Nazca, but now you're Inca. Don't have any more vassals over there. Oh yeah, um, of course, the most important vassal of all, Byzantium. Alright, let's do this shit. Invade. Actually, can we go? No, we can't go through Bohemian lands. Okay, so... Whatever. Alright, so who's gonna join their side? I don't know. We'll see. It's Poland's leader. Oh, Bohemia's against us. Okay. Brandenburg. Okay, so Poland is the leader. So all we have to do is just conquer Poland. And uh, we can't talk to them right now, but I don't really feel any... I guess we could convert Bohemia. Now that I have to wait to the next episode. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this weird little episode I did here. I'm going to make another one right away to uh, continue this war. I'm sorry we didn't really do anything in this episode, but uh, there was a lot to recap because it's been like five, six years since I recorded an episode. Oh, yeah, and uh, Britain took a ton of land from Iberia up here and some more land down here as well. So Iberia, I mean, or Broberia, whatever. They're really hurting right now. They're, man, they're in bad shape. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Leave some comments, suggestions. Rate this video if you enjoyed it. Chit chat if you want to talk a little bit. I'm always up for that. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more of my bullshit, because I do have a lot of bullshit to share with you guys. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, where we will hopefully lay claim to Poland's throne and force a personal union. See you then.